Let's see what's on the mind of Patrick uh, from Oregon. Patrick, thank you. You're up first. Thank you for calling. Well, thank you, sir. I, I like your show, and I like your black shirt. Oh, I'm, I wearing my, I'm wearing my black Angus shirt. Yes, I'm wearing my now, black Angus tonight. The speed supplement, does it work on, like, first-time heifers all the way through the, the breeding stock, you know, all the way through the cow's life? I kind of stepped on you a little bit, Mark. You want to rephrase that to make sure the panel can hear your question again. I'm sorry about that. Go oh, ahead. that's quite all right. Go ahead. Yeah. On, on your feed supplement, does that work from first-time heifers all the way through their, their burning life? Okay. Dr. Jensen? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Uh, certainly it does. It, the, the requirements of that animal are going to vary throughout the year, but the base requirements, the calcium, phosphoruses, the trace minerals, copper, zinc, and manganese, those things are going to be required throughout their whole life. Now, when they're breeding, when, they're, uh, when that calf is, is young, um, right before they get ready to calve, their needs might be a little bit higher. And so like with the Vitafirm products, one of the things we'll do is, is we'll have a different product with different levels to kind of match those different performance stages. Right, and we have the websites that we're gonna be showing, have shown and uh, continue to show where they can go to get information from Vitafirm or the Angus Association Absolutely. answering their questions. Let me ask before we get to our next caller here, as a veterinarian now, kind of putting putting that hat on as you go out there and and looking at nutrition, where do you see kind of the uh, um, a major area that that cattlemen can improve on, that you kind of see over and over where they're really not paying the, the kind of attention they should as it relates to nutrition. Do you, do you see something that's common over and over? Well, I think probably two most overlooked areas, again, are that pre-calving period, you know, because of the impact on that colostrum, and then it's going to, again, be directly proportional to what that cow has, and then pre-weaning. I think a lot of times, sometimes we get a little bit lazy in late summer, and we don't keep our supplements out there, and yet we expect that calf to respond to vaccinations, to go under the stress of weaning, and we expect him to have the value of grading. The other thing is that probably where it's overlooked is, uh, you know, getting those, ca those animals bred tight. You know, we're talking a lot about CAB and things like this, but everybody needs to add value. You know, and sometimes that value just might be a tighter calf crop, okay? If I can supplement and keep that calving interval tight, I've added you know, money to my bottom pocket, e even if I don't feed them out. Okay, very good. Boy. Thank you. Good information. Let's go to back to the telephones. We go from Oregon to Illinois. Sherwood, thank you for calling. Your question. Um, I don't have a question. I have a comment. Okay. The certified Angus beef program is superior to any other beef that is sold in in supermarkets, the only thing better is the prime grade and the Kobe beef. And I think there's a relation between Angus and Kobe beef. And I've kept me 25 out of the last 30 years. And I started in 78 or 79 cutting CAB beef. And today's CAB beef is just superior to what it was 30 years ago. And customers really like it and they enjoy it and nobody can be certified angus beef ground round it's just superior to all ground beef and that's about all i had to say well sure with thanks for the call and uh you were you were if you hopefully with us uh dr core you and i talking uh i remember when uh, certified angus beef program was, was announced it doesn't seem like it's been 32 years ago but it just uh, has to make you feel good to get a call like that from uh, from Sherwood uh, or anywhere about, uh, and he's a, if I heard him right, he, he he's cutting this, this beef in the supermarket every day. Well, and we thank Sherwood for those comments, the kind comments. Uh, you know, I, as we look at the growth of the program, and this year we'll roll past 700 million pounds, folks, that's an awful lot of product. That's an awful lot of consumers. Uh, and so obviously a lot of folks out there do agree. Uh, and as I said at the start, I think it's really important to keep in mind that the consumer is speaking with their dollars and they're telling us that they want a quality eating experience and flavor starts the, the whole process. And we're, we're fortunate to have a product that really gives a lot of flavor. We are both, uh, uh, we said, we're regular certified against beef and a certified against beef prime and do very well in both markets. All right, we're gonna stay in Illinois. Our next call is Jerome and thank you for calling RFD TV. Are you yes. There? there you go, your question, Jerome. Uh, I got, uh feeder calves that I fattened up and I was wondering if Vitafirm if it's something you should use on a continuous uh, basis from the time you uh, start till you get rid of the calves. Right. In other words, feed it continuously. 
Thanks for the call, Jerome. All right, feeder cattle out there. Thank you, Jerome, for the question. And of course, obviously, I'm going to say yes. Now, let me just go on and say <laughs> why that <laughs> is, okay? But within our Vitafirm products, we actually have an additive called Amifirm. That, that's what really separates the Vitafirm product. And when it comes to starting calves, because when we take that calf that's been eating milk and grass, and we wean him and we put him into the lot, whether it's a starter or into the feed lot, and we start changing this diet, that rumen's got to change. And that's one of the places where the Vitafirm products or the Amifirm really makes a difference on help adapting that rumen, you know, to that, you know, that, that change in that diet. As Mark was referring to that we never want them to go backwards. If we want those calves to grade and get that you know, extra value out of that, we need them going in a positive way. So one of the things going on at weaning, again, is that rumen adaptation and the Vitafirm products with the Amifirm just hands down is the best product to get those, pro those calves started. Very good. And the callers, thank you for calling here. All of our uh, great viewers here on RFD TV, you help all of us with your questions here and uh, learn more about uh, the Angus Association, Certified Angus Beef, and Vitafirm and the products they have and how they might work. And your operation bring more money to your bottom line. Let's go to Minnesota, our next caller. Dwayne, you're up next. Thanks for holding. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering in your Vita firm tubs, mineral tubs with the fly with your fly control additive, do you is that gonna bother my calves? They're they're one and two or three week old. No, the, the, the product that usually is IGR is in the fly control. It's completely inert. It's going to pass through the intestinal tract where it then keeps the larva in the manure from maturing. Has certainly no negative effects. In fact, is some positive effects because there's a lot of data been done on the effect of flies, you know, energy expent, you know, swatting those. And again, any energy that that calf takes to swat those flies and fight those is going to go against his gain, go against our marbling and all of our other things when we're trying to get this in product. Wow, hadn't thought about that. Hadn't thought about it. Just he's swatting flies, using energy that uh, could be used to for putting on, uh, putting on the gains and uh, marbling, as you say. Wow, that's great. You never information. thought about your flies hurting your eating experience. <laughs> huh? I, yeah, I, well, I have. I'm not sure about you know, how the cows. Let's go to, uh, is it Missouri for our next caller? Go ahead. Yes. Uh, Dennis? Yes, Thank Dennis. you for calling. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> well, I, I think Dr. Jensen started at, uh, telling a little bit about, I've been to their website, and I see a lot of references to that Amifirm. And I guess I'd just like to ask him, is, as a veterinarian and as a cattle producer, I mean, what do you look for that maybe – might separate one product from the next because a lot of people, I think myself, you know, they all look the same. So could he maybe talk a little bit more about Amifirm? I'm sure he'd love to do that. <laughs> so I get paid for. <laughs> but uh, Dennis, thank you for the question. Obviously, been to the website and seen a little bit about it. But again, the microbial that we have in our product is called Amifirm. And it goes into the rumen stimulates those microbes to increase what they do, basically digest our forages. You know, just from a personal side note, I, before I came over this morning, I fed my last bale of hay. And last one I had from all winter. And somebody else made the comment, says, well, what would you have done if you hadn't been on Vitafirm? Because what we have, a lot of people tell us, is when they feed Amifirm all winter long, of saving 20, 30% on their hay because of getting more utilization you know, out of it. And so bottom line, that's what the Amifirm does in setting our products apart from other vitamin and mineral companies is by increasing the digestion, getting more out of it. Very good. Gentlemen, our time, uh, we, we're going to have three more panels, as we mentioned to our viewers. So we talked about nutrition. We thank you all for being here. We want to give you a, have some time to just closing quick thoughts here. Uh, Mark, start with you. And any cl closing thoughts you'd have for viewers from our nutrition side? Well, I just think, uh, here again, the, the, I think that the cow-calf producer in particular needs to think of keep the consumer in mind through all decisions that they make, whether that's that, the, those Angus genetics, whether that's their nutritional program, whether that's the, the health program. I think at times, too many times, we fall back into that commodity mindset. We've got to remember that that only new dollar comes from the consumer, and we've got to keep them in mind as we go through all of our decisions at the ranch and farm. Mark's great to have you here. Thanks for being great here tonight. To be here. Thank you. Dr. Howard Jensen and Vitafirm, uh, thoughts it, you'd have for viewers? I think I would just kind of resign what he just said, is that you'll know, begin with the end in mind. You know, whether, the, whether your end is at the sale barn or your end is somebody's going to finish those cattle. And we want an enjoyable eating experience and, and start with the basics. And past energy and protein and 
back to our Vitafer Minerals, investing in those wisely to get a return. All right. Dr. Larry Cora, good to have you here to your closing thoughts. Well, it's been a pleasure, and I think it's important to keep in mind that, that economics drive everything. And one of the things as cattle producers we have to continue to look at is ways that we can add economic value. And we're excited about the impact that certified Angus beef is having on whether it's a wean calf, a feedlot calf, or that product as it moves through the marketing place. And so uh, uh, economics is pretty important, and uh, we're happy to be driving that. Happy 32nd anniversary here. It's great. Thank been you. a great run, hasn't it, Ben?